Let's work on an example. Assume there is an investment that pays you $2,000 in the end of the year 1, year 2, and year 3 for an annual interest rate of 12% compounded quarterly. And we want to calculate the present value at time 0 and the future value in the end of year 3 of these payments. The first thing that we need to do is to draw the timeline and locate the payments on the line. The smallest interval in the timeline should be compounding period, which is quarter in this example. The project lifetime is 3 years, so we should have 12 quarters or time interval on the timeline. Then we place the payments. First payment is at the end of the, the, the year 1, which will be 4th quarter. Second payment of $2,000 will be at the end of 2nd year, which will be 8th quarter and third payment at the end of the third year which is going to be 12th quarter now we have to calculate the present value of these payments but first we need to calculate the, the period interest rate which is going to be 12 divided by 4 equals 3 because we have four quarters in a year It is very important to note that we have to use the period interest rate because our time intervals are quarter. Then we calculate the present value of these payments. First payment is in the end of the first year, which is going to be fourth quarter with 3% interest per quarter. The second payment is in the eighth quarter with 3% interest rate per quarter. And the third, uh, three, and the third $2,000 is uh, in, the, in the 12th quarter with 3% interest rate and the result which shows the present value of these three payments. Now future value. Again, first we have to calculate the period interest rate and it is going to be 3. Then we calculate the future value of these three payments. By future value, we mean at the end of the project lifetime, which is at the end of third year or 12th quarter in order to calculate the present value of the first payment we need to know how many time periods are between this time and the future time the first two thousand dollars is paid at the fourth in the at the fourth quarter which is eight quarters away from the future time because future time is at 12th period so we need to write 12 minus 4 as the time period here in the factor because uh, the future time is in 12th period. The second $2,000 is paid at the end of the second year or eighth quarter, which is four quarters away from the future time. And the last $2,000 is paid at the end of the third year or 12th period. This is the same time as our desired future time, and n or time difference would be zero.